video, we're going to be taking a look at Chapter 3, Stoichiometry. Um, let's first look at what a chemical reaction looks like, represented by what's called the chemical equation. And you'll see that you'll have your formulas of your different substances. Um, this plus sign would mean reacts with. So it's telling me carbon, two molecules of carbon monoxide are reacting with a molecule of O2. This plus kind of indicates a mixture, that these are being mixed in my container. Um, and then this uh, arrow is yields or produces. So it's showing me that I am producing two molecules of CO2. What's on the left is called reactants, and what's on the right are called products. Okay, you might see um, after a formula, one of these letters in parentheses to indicate the state of matter. So S for solid, L for liquid, G for gas, AQ for aqueous, meaning mixed with water. Um, sometimes conditions might be listed above the arrow. So you might see like a triangle to indicate that heat's added, or it might say a certain catalyst or certain conditions like an acidic condition needed. The number in front of your formula is called a coefficient. That's telling you how many molecules or how many units are present. We don't really use the term molecule if you're dealing with an ionic compound, so then we would say two units. Um, and the little numbers are called subscripts, and they're telling you how many atoms are present in that molecule or unit. So this is telling you there's two molecules of CO2, and in those molecules of CO2, there are two oxygens. To get the total number of atoms represented by that, um, you would multiply the subscript times the coefficient. So if I see two CO2, I would have um, two atoms of carbon and four atoms of oxygen. You always need to have conservation of mass, um, so you need the same number of each type of atom on each side of your chemical reaction. So for instance, I have two carbons on the left, so I need two carbons on the right. I have four oxygens on the left, and I need four oxygens on the right. So your atoms are just rearranged. We are not creating or destroying mass or matter. Um, you can balance chemical equations by changing the coefficient, not the subscripts, because we don't want to change the identity of the chemicals that are there. So for instance, in this reaction, it's not balanced. I have two hydrogens and two oxygens on the left, but I only have two hydrogens and one oxygen on the right. I don't want to change the formulas because that would change the chemicals that are reacting, but I can add coefficients, numbers in front. So um, I'd want to put a two in front of H2O so that I can balance the oxygens. I now have um, two oxygens, but that's also changed the number of hydrogens. I have four hydrogens total on the right-hand side. So remember, balancing one thing might unbalance something else, so now I have to go back to this side and balance the hydrogens if I have four on this side, I need a 2 in front because 2 times 2 is 4. Remember, we're multiplying the coefficient times the subscript to get the total number of atoms. And you can stop when you're, all your atoms are balanced. Okay, um, so let's just look at a few examples, and you'll we'll be using some of these tips in these different examples. Just make sure at the end that your final coefficients are the smallest whole number ratio. So if you get something like 2, 2, 2, 2, make sure you simplify to 1, 1, 1, 1. And you don't have to write the 1s in. It is implied there's a 1. Um, so here's an example. Okay, start by balancing something that is in only one thing on the left and one thing on the right. So if you look here, there's oxygen here, here, and here. So I want to leave oxygen to the end. Whenever you're balancing a combustion reaction, which is what this is, you want to leave oxygen to the end. So um, start with carbon. Okay, one and one. That's already balanced. All right, so let's move to hydrogen. Here's hydrogen and one thing on the left, one thing on the right. There's four on the left, there's two on the right, so we'll put a coefficient in front on this side. Notice you're adding the coefficient typically to the side that needs more, though you might need to add one to each side um, if you um, don't have numbers that are divisible into each other, which we will see shortly. Okay, so now I've changed the number of hydrogens, but I've also changed the number of oxygens. There's two oxygens in this H2O, and now there is two oxygens in CO2. So in total, there are four oxygens on the right. There's only two on the left, so we'll put a two in front, and now I am balanced. These blanks I can leave. I don't have to put in ones, but it's implied that there are ones there. Okay, if you have a polyatomic ion that appears on both sides of the reaction, so see there's PO4 here, and there's also PO4 all together here, rather than treating P and O separately, I can treat PO4 as one unit. So I can say there's two PO4s on this side, one PO4 on the right-hand side, so I need to put a two in front to balance my PO4s. If you don't like that, you can treat it separately if you prefer. Now I have two irons, so I need two irons on this side. Now I have six fluorines on this side, so I need six fluorines on this side. I'll put a three, and that balances my BEs. You can start in a different place than I started with, and you should arrive at the same answer. 
Here in this case, let's say, okay, let's just say I started with aluminum. There's two here, we'll put a two here. And then I run into this problem with oxygen. There's two on the left and there's three on the right. They don't really divide into each other. I can't divide three by two. So what should I do instead? I should get the least common multiple. Um, the least common multiple would be six. So how can I get six oxygens on the left? I'll put a three in front. How can I get six oxygens on the right? Putting a two in front. You can kind of also think of it as taking the subscripts and switching them. So this three, though the three on this side, we'll put a three as a coefficient, two on this side, put the two as a coefficient. Now just don't forget that now changes my aluminums. There's two times two, there's four aluminums. So make sure if you balance aluminum first that you go back and change that. Balancing one thing might unbalance something else. And here's my final answer. Okay, if you're ever given an example with an odd number of atoms and you're still having trouble, you can strive to make an even number of atoms on one side. So for example, you might be trying, um, finding that you struggle here a bit. There's two oxygens here um, on the left and there's one and two, there's three oxygens on the right and they're in different places. So what I would like to do is I'd say, okay, I'm gonna put a two in front here so that I can get an even number of oxygens on the right. Now I've created two and another two, there's four oxygens on the right and it makes it easier to balance. So now I'll put a two in here that'll balance my oxygens and it also balances my hydrogens and now I'm done. So I like to use that as a little tool if needed. Um, mass is not the only thing that's conserved in a chemical reaction. The other thing that's conserved is uh, other things are charge and energy. Um, they might, like energy might change forms from um, sunlight to heat or something like that, but it's actually conserved in a reaction. Um, so here, uh, my number of atoms are the same. Uh, there's one mg, one mg, but my charges are not. So notice there's three plus total on the left and there's two plus total on the right. To balance that, I could put a two in front of the al and a three in front of the mg, and now I have a six plus charge on either side. But now by putting these coefficients in, they're changing the mass. So I need to put two in front of this al to balance the als and a three in front of this mg to balance the mass of the mgs. Okay, um, same thing over here. Um, I can balance my, let's say, um, the balance our mass first or atoms. There's two oxygens on this side, so I put two here. Now there's four hydrogens on this side, so I put a four here. But now my charge is also not balanced. There's four H pluses, so that's four plus, and a one minus brings me three plus total on the right and zero on the left. So I would need. Um, I would need to add essentially more electrons to balance this. Um, so if I put four electrons here, the four minus and the four plus would cancel out to be zero on the right and zero on the left.